Hey everyone, so Valentine's is coming up, and guys, if you haven't started planning already, we're less than a week away, so don't worry, I've got you covered, with some tips on how to plan a romantic Valentine's Day date, and some DIY gifts for your significant other. So if you're staying in, I recommend setting up your space so that it is stylish, yet cozy and comfortable. To start, I love this couch from Article. It's the Triplo Milky Way Ivory Sofa. That has a slim and elegant profile, but also the cushions are downfilled, so that way you can really get comfy. I like to add some decor elements with accessories from Mobilia, like these pillows and throw, to add some texture and to really set the mood. Now for guys out there, I know every woman really likes that romantic touch. And these rose petals are simple, and they're very affordable, believe it or not, I got these at the dollar store. A nice way to set the scene is with some Moet and Chandon Rosé Imperial. This is perfect for the sophisticated and elegant woman with notes of red fruits, floral nuances, peach, and a hint of pepper. It's a beautiful pink color, as you can see, and it's perfect to dress up your dinner or nice with some brunch. And speaking of brunch, I brought in some friends from White Table Catering who recommend serving a waffle cake topped with marscapine cream, fresh berries, and a drizzled berry compote. Now, how amazing does that look? And it can also be a nice dessert. Now we use the Breville Smart Waffle Two Slice, the no mess, no waste, no hassle kind of waffle. It's fantastic for customizing your waffle from light to dark and actually has 12 browning settings. Both of Breville's Two Slice and Four Slice Square Waffles are available at retailers across Canada. Now cupcakes are always nice to have for Valentine's. It's a great treat, but it also doubles as a decor element as well. You can also make a vegan one for a healthier option, and you can find the recipe over on my site at natalielangston.com. Now, it wouldn't be Valentine's Day without some chocolates, of course. So we have some great options from Purdy's, like this mosaic heart tin, a gourmet box, and some cheeky Valentine's boxes that are pretty much perfect for your girlfriends. And you can always customize what you want or for whomever you're buying for. In case you didn't know, Purdy's use only 100% sustainable cocoa. Seriously, check out their sustainable cocoa program for more details. Oh, and Purdy's also offer chocolate classes, which I'm really excited about. And you can learn how to make your own truffles or chocolate bark, which also makes for a great date night with your partner, girlfriends, or whoever you like. You can find more details at purdy's.com. And I've also made some decor items using mason jars, which also make a nice centerpiece or a great gift. They are so easy to make that you could try making these actually with your significant other after dinner. It's a great date night idea as well, and you can hold some straws or flowers like you've seen here. And you can also find links to a step-by-step -step guide over on my site at natalielangston.com. And if you like to dress for the occasion, I've sourced a few his and her outfits from RW & Co, including the one I'm wearing actually. These pieces are versatile and can be worn for a date night with your special Valentine or to your BFFs, maybe wine or movie night for Valentine's Day. <laughs> RW & Co carries items that are polished yet cool, which I love. And Gary and I are wearing these outfits in a recent post that's up over on my site and you can see how we styled them. And to find more details on these pieces, you can check out the website below. For more details on anything you've seen here, you can visit my website at natalielangston.com. Thanks guys and happy Valentine's!